Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. Today we will design a simple bracelet using um, the store bought beads. So, Edie and Joe mixed metal beads. This is what a strand that I got from Joanne's a while ago. It doesn't say what stones. It does say it is. Uh, it says serpentine jasper CCB beads. I don't know if it is serpentine jasper or sea sediment jasper. I think it is sea sediment jasper. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what this stone is, and if I'm telling the right name. And I don't, I don't know. I think serpentine is mostly green. Um, so like if at all you have a strand like this if you are new to um, jewelry making this is some kind of a bracelet that you can make it quick with uh, fewer materials in your stash and then you know it's pretty easy to make it too so all you need is a strand like this and go ahead and buy yourself some bead stringing wire I would say either soft flex or bead alone if you can. Soft flex premium. Uh, these are medium, um, and it is size uh, 0 0.019. This is similar to that you can see, but this one is a much uh, lower brand. And this, as you can see, there's no label, and these ones are got from several places, like shows, gem shows, and you know. Mm -hmm. Um, then um, I think I don't remember even uh, bead box bargains have them I guess so you can use soft flex or any beading wire you have and there is one more which is uh, you know bead alone so that also you can have anything you can have uh, for stringing this one let me see if I have a bead alone so that I can show you guys um, so this is beetle on this is 49 strands these are for, uh, 49 strand wires that is nylon plated okay and it seems to be uh, look like single wires there's thin 49 strands inside this and in this we have 49 strands as well soft flex so that's why they are pretty flexible but to close this you can actually knot this if you want to like a regular knot but you can also use a special stuff called crimping tubes or crimping pliers as you guys know if uh, somebody don't know i'm telling this if they are new and if they are starting and they want to use uh, beading wire these are some of the crimp beads that we have i'll show you guys exactly how to use that and uh, also some findings so this is all you need per se and this one and this wire and the crimp tubes and apply it to crimp it and also uh, some clasp of choice okay i'm gonna use a lobster claw clasp just because to make it simple to keep it simple i got this lobster claw clasp box in different colors it's all mixed right now it comes like this okay you have the light silver the darker silver or antique silver gold copper uh, bronze and gunmetal so i got this from bbcraft.com so um as i said if you are a new if you are new to jewelry making this is a pretty simple way to make jewelry so add a bead so i'm just following the pattern that this bead already came in i'm not doing anything i'm not adding anything extra so i'm just going to add this guy i'm gonna thread these beads to the bead stringing wire once you get used to these uh, beads and stuff then you exactly you will know where to buy what to buy so forth and so on but initially if you don't know just go ahead and get a strand like this for yourself go to michael's joins i'm not promoting any store trust me i'm not and i'm not being paid for that or anything like that i'm just letting you guys know you can actually nowadays even in dollar tree you're getting so much stuff um like uh craft stuff 
jewelry making stuff it's unbelievable even the pliers on that the other day i went to a different um um uh, dollar tree than what i used to go um because we were in another neighborhood for my daughter's class and my other daughter was with me and she wanted to get the uh poster board so we went there and then i found like um flat nose pliers and you know um round nose pliers in that and also they had this jewelry um let me show i have it i have it close by and there we are so they have this a uh, bead tray as you guys can see crafter squares is a dollar tree brand and see this they had this bead tray jewelry making bead tray and you can have the necklace and then you can put all your beads here and here and here and then make it that seemed to be you know for a dollar 25 that's much more affordable and um, anybody can start making jewelry you can do it for yourself right that's the name of my um channel to i shoes diy do it yourself it's pretty easy once you get to know it's a big world trust me it's a lot to learn okay but you can also make simple stuff that's what is very special about you can make yourself a bracelet um so now it's important that this is one complete strand i thread uh, i did thread all the beads in here so um you have to check the length of this uh beaded portion and it is about say seven inches which is a little bit more because my, i have a like a seven and a quarter or seven and a half inch wrist um i mean bracelet size so this might be a little bit bigger for me so what i do is i just hold it around my wrist you can also take a binder clip okay okay it's all moving so see this it's almost closing my we need space for the clasp so this is a lobster claw clasp that i'm going to use i need a jump ring or a ring for this to come and attach to right so that we need i'm going to go through my supplies and find out one for me so if you don't have this um jump ring so you can buy something like this this comes in different colors of lobster claw clasp and jump ring for you so if you buy one of these then you can use it for your project so i pulled out from my stash a ring jump ring closed one then also this finding that i have it says broncos and i searched online i think you guys can see that and it has a small um zircon there and i searched up online it says it's a wild horse or half tamed horse and like it's a <laughs> pretty cute when i also have this uh, finding i don't know whether i'm going to add this one or just this one let me think about it so if i'm going to add this one it already has a jump ring attached to so first of all what we will do is we will take our crimp tube you can take a silver crimp which i don't know if i have them enough in my stash yeah i do so these are there are sizes in this crimp tube and this is size 1 which is perfect there is size 02 but this one the soft flex itself says the size of the crimp that you need to use for that particular wire let me show you guys i don't think so this one shows but the beetle on one shows yeah 
it doesn't say but usually the beetle on says see this size 1 crimp bead and size 2 crimp tube it says that so by practice I know that this will fit uh, more or less and let's see if it doesn't then we can go to the tube crimp tube okay and so anyways I told it's a little bit bigger so I'm gonna remove one of the bead right I'm gonna remove one of the bead and the spacer bead as well this seems to be a nice spacer bead um, and then I'm gonna add the crimp bead and then come back through and then go back through the crimp tube or crimp bead whichever you have available in your stash I'm trying to squeeze this in but it doesn't have much of a space there we go bring it all the way close there is some kind of a plier but if you are starting you will basically have round nose flat nose pliers you can use the needle nose or flat nose pliers to crimp as well you just go ahead and press it but if you happen to have this crimping pliers you can use that with these kind of um, branded crimp beads see the tendency of the wire is to crisscross inside the bead so generally it will crisscross so what you need to do is make sure it's parallel to each other and then push the bead as much as you can once again so you need a little bit of space for this to move nicely so I'm going to go ahead and go to the second hole and then press it give it a press that will make your bead like this and then go ahead with your first uh, opening in this pliers and go vertically and then go ahead and squish this that will make it look more like a bead right here there's a short tail which is okay the tail will go on top of my bead I'm sure of it and then pull all the beads down to the side now let's see okay if you have this I just want to make sure it will fit nicely in my wrist yes so that's done so I need to cut this at this point you can use your scissors but I suggest wire cutters if you're starting to make jewelry I'm sure you will have some around so cut it right there okay and take your crimp bead again okay so if you want you can have this take it you're going to put this through and here if you want you can have this finding here dangling or you can have this dangling here if you want to whichever way but I'm just gonna worry about it later first I'm gonna attach um, my jump ring right here come back through the crimp bead it can be a little bit tricky if the crimp bead is pretty small you have to cut this properly there we go now what you want to do is take your needle nose pliers or tweezer nose pliers whichever you have available and pull this end when you pull it 
the distance will get tightened and always keep the bracelet in a circular format if you keep it like this and crimp it will become way too tight and there won't be any flexibility in the bracelet which will not look good so make sure you do that okay once you're happy with the size of the loop you can go ahead and crimp it but before crimping it make sure it fits your wrist okay yeah it just it's just about right so all you can do is go ahead and crimp this bead the same way as we did the other side I'm gonna do use both the openings in this crimping pliers and crimp it and then this is the tail that we are gonna cut off okay snip it off as close to the bracelet as possible so it's pretty much done at this point you can just add the clasp and call it a day so we bought a strand of beads from Joanne's and here we have so if you want oh that's so pretty and if I want to add this whether I want to add this or not I don't think so I do want to but all uh, you can also make a dangle out of this bead but I feel that this this itself is much more enough uh, this winding itself is much more enough for this bracelet so I'm gonna go ahead and take a jump ring from my stash not a bigger one a small jump ring like this would do and then I'm gonna attach this winding to my uh, closed jump ring so for this purpose I would suggest using two sets of pliers this is a bent nose pliers but it's totally up to you any two sets of pliers would do and this is my needle nose pliers so you can actually use it like this open and close the jump ring so just open this jump ring and then add this winding and then add it to the you can add it here or here any which way you want go back and forth make sure jump ring is nice and closed and here is our bracelet how cool is that it looks really really pretty and as i said if you want to make a dangle out of this you can also make this dangle but i really feel that this is much more than enough for this um, bracelet and it looks very very cute very very pretty and you can wear this you can gift it it's pretty easy once you figure out how to crimp these and then get the necessary materials you can make as many uh, bracelets as you want and this is a gemstone bracelet and you can put a charm or you can put a letter uh, whichever you have available for example this kind of a charm which uh, has uh, uh, some wordings engraved in it or you can just put some initial engraved you can buy those charms and add it in pretty straightforward you have a beautiful gift to give and that you made by your hands so please um if you do like this tutorial give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i have a lot of videos um uh, no, i mean hundreds of videos in my channel go ahead and watch those you can get benefited from it i would like to support uh if you would like to support my channel i would really appreciate it you can go ahead and, so, um, and there is a heart sign in the bottom description box above the description box you can click and donate how much ever your heart feels like or or you can buy something from my etsy shop and that would also support my channel i really appreciate your patience and you stopping by to watch this video it really means a lot to me thank you so much have a good day Bye bye